Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Assistant. And this is written and directed by Kitty Green, and starring Julia Gardner as this young woman. It's one day in her life as the assistant to an entertainment mogul, and all that entails in this toxic environment that a lot of women have to work in. And this film was getting great critical buzz. And I remember, like, I really wanted to get to see this, and I finally got to see it last night. And walking out of the theater, which I saw this at Montgomery Cinemas, which is in the area near me, and the vast majority of the clientele at Montgomery Cinema are the 60-plus age group. I'm pretty sure my girlfriend and I were the only people in the theater probably younger than 60 years old. And the audience got up one person said this was literally the worst film they've seen ever and a whole bunch of people were talking about how bad this film was and i looked it up on rotten tomatoes that's 22 percent rating by audiences and has an average score of like a 2.8 out of 10. And i'm like what and like how I would describe my feelings towards this film is like I didn't love it as a film so like this didn't skyrocket to the top of my list. It's still really high up there because you know we're still in February and there hasn't been a lot of great films but it was such a strong film and such a meaningful film because this idea of with the Me Too movement and women trying to stand up for themselves in the workplace, this is so relevant. It's an important film, and where a film like Bombshell is very in-your-face, very stylized, this is very subtle, and it really lives in the details. And I can see where that turns people off, because, yes, the pacing is very slow, it is very deliberate, and it does really grind into the mundane of this woman's life. And if you're not picking up on all the subtle nods to this toxic environment, which they're like little red flags throughout this whole like hour and 28 minutes of this movie, just potted everywhere. And there's not like giant signs being like, red flags, red flags. It takes its time and walks you through this woman's day. And I think that's one of the most admirable things about this is like it shows it in a very realistic way and all those little microaggressions because it's like by the end of the day if those microaggressions were little mosquitoes this young woman would be covered in bites and you probably wouldn't be able to see her because that's how many little details are throughout this film and there's one particular scene where it really comes to a head in a very unsettling and upsetting and disturbing kind of way when she tries to go to HR about it and that scene is probably the most like movie scene of it but it still feels so realistic and even just all the little comments that like even other women make about the situation and how scummy everybody around is and just so complacent to everything and Julia Gardner gives a great performance in this it didn't click all the way through for me it took a little while for it to fully get into gear but when it did this film was really powerful and Julia Gardner really carries this film on her back and she does such a great job in this and like early early she probably gives one of the best performances I've seen of 2020 so far and I was really impressed by it she probably won't get a whole lot of attention once we get towards October November December of 2020 but like this is a really strong performance and this is an important film, so I'd really suggest going out to see The Assistant. I could see why probably the audience that I saw it with might have a different perspective on a lot of these things, because it was a lot of middle-aged men, and might have felt personally attacked by this movie, but the thing is, it's like, it's an important film, and I'm interested to hear perspectives from different age groups about this too, but those are my thoughts on The Assistant. Let me know what you think, and leave a comment below. Let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.